לכולם, שלום אבריבאדי. Well, next Thursday, we're going to celebrate Yom HaTzmaut, 67 years of independence. And this year, like it was in 48, it happened to be in Friday. But because we don't want to harm the Shabbat, we celebrate Yom HaTzmaut a day before in Thursday. And today we want to speak about the names of us, the Jewish people, or the state of Israel. What is the difference between Jewish, Israel? As you know, names in the Bible is a very important issue. Also the names of God, the names of the people, and especially what we are talking now is the name of the children of Israel. So if we start in the beginning, our first father, Abraham, was named in the Bible as Abraham Ha'ivri. Ha'ivri, and then his children became Ivriim. Ivri means he comes from the other side of the river. That's the meaning in Hebrew. Ever means a cross from the other side. And of course the meaning is that he crossed the river, he changed the tradition, he changed the whole concept of belief in what used to be in the world. He came from the east, they were idols, his family were idols, and he had to cross the river and to teach the world that there is only one God. And then when he heard the voice of Lech Lecha, he had to go all this way to the land of Canaan. It still was the land of Canaan. And his children became Ivriim. Later on, third son, Yaakov, was named Yaakov because he was holding the leg of his brother Esau. So for years he was Yaakov and his children were Bnei Yaakov, the son, children of Jacob. And the meaning is that they, as long as he is Yaakov, they are chasing after, they are going a step after Esau. When he became Israel. Only after years he was running out of the land to the exile because he was afraid of Esau. And only when he became strong enough, wealth, big family, and when Yosef was born, and then he felt, now I can handle again with my brother Esau. He is coming back to the land. And before he meets his brother Esau, he meets in a spiritual meeting with the angel of Esau. And after the struggle, he asked the angel to bless him. And then the angel blessed him with a new name. And he tells him, no longer your name will be Jacob. From now on, your name will be Israel. And he also gives the explanation, what is the meaning of the name Israel. Israel means Kisarita, means you became a, a minister. A minister means you can struggle, you can handle. You can handle angels, you can handle the nature, you can handle the human being. Actually, you can change the reality. You are no longer just going after, chasing, holding the leg of your brother. From now on, you can be the king. You can be the master. So for years, from that on, from that time, we became two names, or children of Jacob, or children of Israel. It all depends of where were we. When we were in the Galut, we were the children of Yaakov. When we start walk towards 
the land to establish a state, then we are the children of Israel. And as we see all the time, the history goes again back. And in our days, after we were a strong country and we ruled the land, we were Israel. But when it all broke down, then we became again, not Yaakov, but we became Jewish. But it's the same meaning. A Jew means you're no longer a master, Israel. You are just a Jew from Yehuda. So for 2000 years we were traveling around the world, even till India and Cochin, as Jews. We forgot that actually we are Israelis. So we named ourselves, and that's how the people call us Yehudim, Jews, for years. Till when? Till 1948. When David Ben Gurion said, We declare them this day that we are the Jewish people, established a new state, and then he called the state in the name of Israel. Well, deep inside we all felt. So, things change. From now on, again, our name has to make a transformation. Because, again, we can master, we can lead, we can show the world how we can handle the nature, how we can handle the human nature, and how we can create a kingdom which will be a guidance to the world how to build the right contact with Hashem. So, Bezat Hashem, we are praying that it's not only to be a startup nation and to deal with our enemies, we are waiting for the next step that all the nation will say, wow, now we understand that you are a spiritual guidance in the world as state of Israel. Chag Sameach, Shalom Adirach.